Hey everyone, it's Zavid Models from Joystick.com, and we're back once again with Halo Reach pre-beta footage. This time we're going to look at controls and the theater mode. Now, just like Halo 3 changed things up, Halo Reach does the exact same thing. Uh, the control scheme by default is very different from what you're used to. You can select different schemes, but uh, by default this is what it looks like. Uh, now, right trigger still fires your weapon, left trigger still throws grenades. If they change that, that'd be really weird. Uh, but now, instead of reloading with the bumper, it's back to the X button like it was in Halo 1 and Halo 2. Holding it down will pick up weapons. And the left bumper has now become the equipment button. Now, there is no equipment like there was in Halo 3. Now it's your abilities. So your sprinting, your jetpacks, stuff like that. That's left bumper. Uh, right bumper has been sl has been changed to uh, melee instead of the B button. B button switches your grenade type. Now the right bumper, when you hold it down, that's when you perform an assassination move, uh, which you've read about now in our hands-on impressions. Uh, what I found when I was playing the game is doing that and ended up creating this long train of people waiting to kill you, uh, just like it did in Gears of War with the uh, chainsaw, the original Gears of War, that is. So uh, use that to your discretion. I, I would imagine that high profile players or uh, high caliber players of Halo Reach probably won't be using a lot of assassinations because the animation's really long, but uh, it's there for you to use it, and that's by holding down the button. Also, you notice that left on the D-pad says Night Vision. Now, I, I didn't get to use that. I'm not sure exactly where that is, if that's in multiplayer or if maybe I just never tried it in multiplayer, uh, but Night Vision is in the game in certain spots, and that's the button that you'll be using to uh, activate that. Moving on to a couple of other button layouts, we have a Recon here, uh, which changes action and reload to your right bumper. Left bumper is still the equipment button, X is now switch grenades, and your good old friend Melee is back to the B button where you remember it. Bumper Jumper changes your left bumper to the jump button, hence the name. Uh, switch grenades is the A button, reload is B, uh, use your equipment is now X. Melee is back to the default position at the right bumper, and I'm sure there are people out there who will use this layout, but just looking at it makes me confused. As for green thumb, right bumper is zoom, right analog stick when clicked in is the melee attack, and the face buttons stay the same. A to jump, X to reload and your action button, B to switch grenades, and Y to swap weapons. For boxer, right trigger is fire weapons, left trigger is melee, Left bumper is still use equipment, uh, and now the right bumper is use grenades. In South Paul Returns, left trigger is fire weapons, right trigger throws grenades, left bumper melee attack, right bumper is use equipment, and the face buttons, those stay the same. Let's move on to theater. Uh, as you're playing the beta, it will save your game so you'll be able to watch them in the theater mode, uh, just like you're used to in Halo 3. Uh, it'll give you a listing of everything and you'll be able to save things on your local drive. Uh, and it gives you a couple of different options uh, in order to search. There's a bug option in this pre-beta so people can uh, record video of bugs that they can tell Bungie about. I don't know if that's going to be in the final beta version. Uh, and then you could just search by things like that are uh, sniper, good sniper shots, funny things that you people are recommending, uh, then you can go down to a custom search and specify if you want to look for something on a particular map, uh, look for something by a particular tag, the most viewed, the most related, the default stuff. Um, you could change it uh, based on how old the videos are. Uh, you can also change if you want to select uh, or find things that are specifically a screenshot or a film, so you have a, a pretty good custom search option in the theater mode. Now, actually using the theater mode is a lot like you're already used to in Halo 3. Uh, you can jump into any of your videos and switch characters around. You can uh, disconnect and get uh, a free floating camera, which you can control and move around the entire map. Uh, what we did in the beta here for this video is we just went through the process of taking a screenshot. So we set up our screenshot that we think will look good. Uh, you don't have any of those visualization options that you have in Halo 3 right now. But you can take a screenshot, then upload it to Bungie. Uh, here, obviously, we didn't upload it because this isn't connected to Xbox Live. This is connected to a different partner net service. Um, so 
just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, pretty similar, and you can also, uh, of course, auto name and save it like you could before, or give it a specific name, like Race on Boneyard, for example. That's what this map is. Uh, so you have a couple of basic options. I would assume that, like the credits that do not carry over when the beta is over, your file share stuff will not be on your Bungie.net account when the beta is over. So uh, if you find something that you really enjoy or a screenshot that you take that's awesome, you might want to save that to your desktop because I'm not sure whether or not that's going to stay on your account when the beta has uh, ended. And also you have the option of saving clips. Uh, you can also preview the clips when they're done saving or save them to your Bungie account. I uh, don't know whether or not they're going to allow people to use uh, credits in order to create the video as uh, they've since updated Halo 3 to allow people to just uh, uh, create a video of their of their saved uh, films. So uh, a lot of those options, we're not sure whether or not those are going to be in the beta. Uh, I don't think they will, uh, but I would assume that when the game is released, you'll have that option as well. So that does it for Controls and Theater. Stay tuned for more. We've got tons of Halo Reach footage coming at you here on joystick.com.